What's up guys, Dallas Coral. What the freak? What? What? That's not my intro. What's up guys, my name is Dallas, aka In Furnace, and thank you so much for clicking on this video, you're watching the Ticket Realm. I'm going to be making a tutorial showing you how to make YouTube thumbnails on Photoshop. And I made a tutorial a long time ago on how to make YouTube thumbnails with an online version of Photoshop. But now I'm going to be uh, making one about how you can actually do it in Photoshop. Because Photoshop, although it may be uh, very hard to understand and very complicated at times, is the most effective and gets the job done the best so I'm going to be basically going over the basics on how to make a thumbnail so first you want to go to your file and then new and then just you'll come up with this with this uh, window right here you'll name it whatever you want but I'm gonna be designing the thumbnail for this video in particular so we're just gonna use that as an example and um, you're gonna want to make sure that it is 1280 or sorry not 180 1280 by 720 make sure this is set to pixels and not inches or something and then make sure the background is transparent you're gonna press ok and then you have your layout so you're going to want to get your your image that you want for a background all right usually I'll just go with the rectangle tool all right the rectangle tool is down here at the bottom this is your uh, your tool ribbon It'll be right here where my mouse is. You can just click on that and then you can just cover the entire thing right here. And then it will come up with most likely black. But uh, just for the sake of being, you'll change that for white at the moment. And yeah, so now we have our blank canvas. Now what I would recommend doing is going to Google and finding a good background image. So since Photoshop's kind of like theme color is purple, I'm going to go to a purple background. And uh, we have some results for our purple background right here. And let's just go into images so we can find a, uh, a better one. We have lots and lots of purple backgrounds. Uh, I've used this one before. Um, I've used that one before. Um, this one's a little bit too vibrant. Also too vibrant. Uh, just, you want to find one that's, uh, you know, not too vibrant, but not too dull. Like this is dull. This is just not good. Uh, you don't want that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe you do. That's too much of a detail. I don't want to get copyrighted. Um, you know what? I'm going to go with this. All right. So you're going to go up into file and then place. And you're going to choose the image. I have so many images. I'm not just going to start scrolling through all of them. So here it is. Press place. And uh, there's the background. All right. So now, really... You have your you, you have your background. This is really kind of like the place where you want to start. You'll make sure that it is centered. Um, don't want any parts sticking out or not being long enough. And then just make sure it is good. All right. Maybe add some effects to it. The effects menu is right here. If you do this, um, well, first of all, you have to place it. Make sure you press place, right click, and um, you can go and do any effect that you want. Um, I don't know if you, these are kind of pointless because it, it takes down the background. You know, that, that looks pretty cool, actually. I think I'll stick with this because it makes it a little bit lighter, right? And then you can um, do all kinds of things right here. Like, you could do that. Okay, so what I usually do now is add the text, all right? But, you know, in this case, since we're doing a Photoshop tutorial and I'm going to be making a thumbnail for that, we're going to go on the Internet and find a picture for Photoshop. So, in this case, I'll do um, photo shop cs6 logo and um as you can see we're right here just find one with a transparent background there is many ways to make a transparent background on photoshop itself but that's a whole nother tutorial in itself so i'm just going to find one that's already transparent in this case it's right here i'm going to press save image do the same thing and just go back into photoshop do the same thing press go to file place by the way you don't have to be copying exactly what I'm doing you could be doing this um, with whatever uh, thumbnail you want all right this is just an example uh, so here we are we have a transparent background the way you could tell that something is transparent in the background is that if it has these uh, these tiles in the back that's how you could tell if it's transparent make sure it has that and also it will say 
um, PNG because that is a transparent background. So yeah, you have that. Make sure it is out of the way, not covering the entire screen. Press place. And then uh, make sure you have your, your uh, logo selected right here in the selection menu. And then you're going to go and you're going to choose your effects. Um, I'm going to just stick with no effects for this one. Um, and let me go down to Vivid Light. That's pretty cool. You know, I'm going to keep that. Uh, by the way, that's named Vivid Light, just in case you want to figure that out. All right, so our background is already looking extremely cool. And now all we need to do is just add the text to it. Um, what I like to do is add text to the top so it's kind of like, you know, standing out. The first thing that people see if it ranks high in the search results. So um, you go down to your text tool, which should be right around here. Um, and then you could just click on the top right there and just start texting something. Just you could te text something random right there. So make sure you go up into your selection tool. Move it down to where you want right around there. All right. Go back into your text tool. And... Uh, now you can type whatever you want. So in this case, it will be Photoshop tutorial. So how to, and then uh, we're going to move this right around here. Um, and then we're going to go to effects because that's really bland. All right, so I don't really like this font. So I'm going to change it to something I have. Um, I have a lot of fonts on my computer. Um, if you guys want to install fonts, there's a really quick and easy website. Um, most likely everyone knows about but uh, it's called the font.com and you could just go ahead and uh, go here and there's hundreds of fonts to choose from and once you download it you just have to install it into your font file it's really easy and yeah this way you could just change it to whatever you want you know I'm gonna go with this one so this one is called coalition um, and we are going to add some effects to it all right first we got it I don't know that looks kind of cool um, uh, you could choose this. Oh, that's neat. I like that. Um, by the way, you can go. Th this is the effects option. If you don't know how to get here, you could just. Uh, it's probably going to be on default. It's going to be on adjustments. Just click in the styles, and it'll be right there. That's kind of hard to see. Let's go up into adjustments, brightness. No, not the picture. Oh my god. Click on the uh, eye icon to make these layers invisible. All right, change contrast. And that's looking pretty good. Kind of, still kind of hard to see, but it's okay. Um, and then we are going to be done. All right. So as you could see, this is looking really good. And I think that we've pretty much uh, done the best that we can in making this thumbnail so far. So now we are going to be done. Uh, you guys can uh, keep on exploring if you want to see some more stuff. But this is the basics on how to do a thumbnail on Photoshop. So once you're done with any picture, you can just go into File and scroll down to Save As. Go into any folder you want. And it'll probably be the name that you want it to be because you uh, already named it before. Scroll down in the list of the formats. Make sure it's a PNG down here. And press Save. Then you're going to go to this website called Panzoid.com. And basically it's a really neat website where you can just finish off Photoshop um, pictures make them kind of like you know final final and you know just pretty professional looking all right just you know so we make the photo a little bit more clean and just make it look better in general so we're gonna go to fill right here in custom under layer one press select choose the image that you just saved in Photoshop PNG there we go so now we have our photo right here we're gonna go down to overlays all right and then scroll down where it says fade out go down to the center make it around uh, 300 okay go to text and images go right here to the text and then go to the text alright and this is just an example you guys could just use these techniques to make whatever kind of you know thumbnail you want but this is just the thumbnail I'm gonna be using for this video all right, so then scroll down. They have lots of cool fonts that you could choose from. They have this one. I like that one. Um, I like this one as well. I, I like uh, this one. That's pretty cool. Um, this one's also kind of... I don't, I don't really like that one. Um, that's pretty neat. Just find the one you want. Um, all these work, but like you don't have to install them. They're, they'll, they're, they're just already there. Um, you got CSGO. Um, 
Ugh, mm, hell no, that's disgusting. That's <laughs> Comic Sans. Um, that's pretty cool, I'm gonna stick with that. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. Scroll down, and it's gonna come up with the color and stuff. You're gonna change the font right here. Uh, you could just press the up button until you think that it's okay. Um, personally, well, that's way too, oh my god, that's way too big. Make sure it's centered, roughly. Um, and then, you could just leave it white, because really, uh, white doesn't matter. Uh, go scroll down into where it says text shadow, it's at the very bottom. Uh, click that on, scroll all the way down, where it says blur, right here. And then you're gonna change that to about 50. All right, or some maybe even more, maybe like 80. All right, so it kind of gives that 3D effect to it. And uh, yeah, that is looking pretty good. I think that this thumbnail is um, pretty much done. So if you want to add some more things to it, you could always just um, experiment with these these uh, options. I I usually don't use these, but you can go ahead and do that. Once you're done, you can just scroll down here to uh, download your background. Press download. It'll come to this page right here. And uh, this website will be linked in the description. Um, so, yeah. Save it in the folder that you want to save your thumbnail in. For example, I'm going to do this one right here. And there you go. And that's how you make thumbnails on Photoshop. All right. I know the last part was kind of unnecessary. You really don't have to do that. It's just optional. I mean, I recommend it because it kind of makes the final product look better than just, you know, on this. I mean, this, is, this looks good, but it's like it, it could be better, right? So anyways, that is how you do uh, YouTube thumbnails with Photoshop. Uh, this is just an example, obviously. I mean, you could just use the techniques I use to make whatever thumbnail that you want. All right, I'm just giving you the ways that I make thumbnails as, you know, kind of a, a way you can as well and make your thumbnails look the best as possible, most intriguing, and most eye-catching because that is what makes people click on your video. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.